Let's do it, y'all. So the game, this and Rick Ross, and we'll talk about it. Let's go to it. Let's go to it. In his stomach and stuff bricks in it Put his body on a scale like his fish in it I can see the bitch in him 20 million dollar home renovation Just to slit your wrists in it Suicide, it's a suicide Rip apart the Maybach, I know the truth's inside You 12 lemon pepper wings from a heart attack Academics, get this nigga Olympic starter pack Casa now, get the room, turn that stream on Ask buttons, by this brief encounter with King Kong This ain't the Kendrick beef, my Drake sing song Shots ring out, the neighbor better have his ring on Glock swing out, doors open like a swing arm Pac lean out, Machiavelli with the ring on Ops is out, they on the same shit that we on Hospital, wheelchair, hair wrap, sling on It's payback punk for the drama you tried to bring on Maybach trunks, type of shit that we eat our wings on My K-Dot shit, I don't have to turn the beam on It's that time of the month, get this pussy something to bleed on Your baby mama told me that you like to get peed on You a CEO, that's the last time you had keys on And we know you treat gunplay like he a peon And he know some shit that ain't cool for him to speak on My PO said this ain't the record that we agreed on Then cut it off like the ankle monitor for the beep on My niggas will learn French just to get they steam on And Cali with Cali codes, don't need Cali to get his scream on We the West, free the guys, I gotta free the West I'm muy loco, I don't need a vest I'm watching Scarface and cleaning text Shots gonna be direct Have you been through Cedar yet? When cars pull up, we do explosives and heater checks The lights flick, the dogs bark, and niggas sleeping less Under palm trees, we got them choppers that to eat your flesh The real Rick Ross know every bird gotta lead a nest You stole your name, I pulled your fat Facts You looked that big and stole the staff Facts I smell pussy, that odor fat Facts You ain't sold no birds, you trolled the owl Draco Flick, it's like the light on the Carter 4. Bad kid, good city, I studied the art of war. Run into that hand me down mansion and lock up all the doors. Stop with all that raving, nigga, you not from Baltimore. I don't wanna hear about no fish tanks and marble floors, no spiral steps, no swimming pools, no hors d'oeuvres, no autumn moors, no car shows, no pinky rings, no umbrellas in the car doors. Introduce me and my connect to that Colombian you chopped that raw for, it wasn't fabricated. The lies you tell are getting saturated. What happened to the birds in the Maserati? They just evaporated? Boss. That shit be too exaggerated Fucking with a Compton nigga Get your head decapitated Leonard DiCaprio All that cap like you activated I just bought a hundred for yacht And it was captivating Congratulations What an imagination From CO to drug kingpin Now this nigga acting Haitian The stories these niggas tell He gon' tell us he got a key For every nigga he locked in a cell He gon' tell us he just bought another crib He living well But he won't tell us about his health condition He sick as hell He popping pills They starting to fuck with his brain Seizures off the Lean Balenciaga shorts got shit stains. He not a mastermind. He got he line after line, laid back in the Maybach, making up shit just to pass the time. He think he big Meech, free Larry Hoover, Miami a big beach. Now watch how I maneuver. I don't tippy toe. I know plenty zones that pull up in semi trucks, hop out and let a semi go. So let me know. I let them boys and them drop Chevys go. It's humid in the 305, but they pushing heavy snow. Compton Grand Reaper, I make you reap what the devil so Walking through live with the same eyes niggas had in belly though. This ain't the new death row, this the old Harry O. Game is one of them niggas. Blue Da Vinci, Meech and Terry know. So my advice is let it go. Oh, I almost forgot. Fuck Bel Air. It's West Side, we let the Henny flow. So when that muzzle smoke, and that thing hot, even when the camera out of focus, just know the beam not Run up on you clean shots, look down on you, flash on like an iPhone Take to the ceiling with the screen lock This nigga drug women, that's how your team rock And all that money you rap about gon' get you a mean plot But in the meantime, I'ma let your fake fiends cop And I know you doing your thing, Ock, but this is where the wings stop All right, so this is the thing, y'all. First of all, the song is amazing. The song is wonderful. Um, I'm not surprised if, you know, if anybody knows the game, he always has great, you know, um, diss tracks. 
always great when it comes to the the rap diss diss tracks and the battle tracks and things like that. Um, I don't, I don't know. I think, to me personally, it reeks of desperation. I just think that it just seems to me because. All right, so so when when Drake, I mean when when Rick Ross was dissing Drake, it made sense because, you know, Drake was you know him and Drake had did songs together, you know what I mean, and so they knew each other. So it's like two friends that fall out from you know two two guys who are friends and they have problems and they're not friends anymore, and then they don't like each other anymore, so they diss each other. That makes sense to me. This right here seems like, you know, in 2023, 2024, especially 2024, especially after Cat Williams in 2024, everybody's starting to diss everybody. It just seems to me that that game was kind of like sitting on the sidelines, like, hey, all this going on, like nobody's saying my name. Where am I in this? Like. I want my name to be said also with all these disses and all this stuff going on in 2024, thanks to Cat Williams. I want my name to be said. It just seems like he's desperate because who even, where does him and Rick Ross, they've never made, have they even made a song together? Like they don't even interact with one another. So why would he and Rick Ross have a problem? It doesn't, it just doesn't make sense to me. So it seems so to me, it seems like desperation to be relevant. I think the game is trying to be relevant again, and he's desperate to be relevant again. Let me see some of these. Uh... So here's a <laughs> here's a uh, comment here. Fifty Cent ain't been this confused since he saw his mommy kissing a girl. <laughs> I gotta like that one. That's true because. 50 Cent had has had beef with the game and he's had beef with Rick Ross. He's like, 50 Cent's probably like, why the hell are these two beefing? Like my 50 Cent's like my my two ops. <laughs> 50 Cent's two ops are both beefing. 50 Cent's probably like, I'm so confused. Like, who do I take in this beef? <laughs> 50 Cent's like, who am I gonna troll and who am I gonna back? I think if it comes down to it, I think 50 Cent would would back the game and still troll Rick Ross if, if it was, uh, you know, <laughs> if, if I had anything to think about it. Look at this comment. A stripper versus a cop. I'm going to like that one, too. Yeah. So if Rick Ross would want to, re you know, retaliate against the game, you know, one easy, low-hanging fruit he could definitely use is how the game used to be a stripper. And uh, 50 Cent, when 50 Cent was dissing the game, he had those good pictures that he he used. And uh, so Rick Ross could use the, the stripper angle on the game, you know, and attack his masculinity and accuse him of being feminine. So if I was Rick Ross, one thing he could do is be like, oh, the same way that the game is saying, oh, you used to be a correction officer and now you're a... Um, now you're a big drug kingpin. So uh, Rick Ross could use, well, you used to be some weak, you know, homosexual looking, <laughs> feminine looking stripper, and now you're some kind of killer. So Rick Ross has that angle if he wants to use that angle. You know, there's one thing I never understood, which I always thought that Rick Ross could do this fairly easy. Rick Ross, if I was Rick Ross, I would use the correction officer angle. And all I would say is, is, oh yeah, I was a correction officer. I was one of the like the crooked ones. I was the correction officer that was, you know, running drugs on the inside. I was the correction officer that would hide things for the biggest kingpins on the inside. I was the correction officer that was getting paid off on the inside. I was the correction officer who was the plug between the outside and the inside. 
from the very first time that 50 Cent was using the correction officer thing against Rick Ross, I remember I, I, I think I was I was sitting in my car and I remember when the whole 50 Cent Rick Ross thing kind of like um started. I think I was sitting in my car with a female, I think. I think I was sitting in my car with a female talking about business since I forgot what it was. It was, you know, that was a long time. That was a long time ago, long, long time ago. But I think I was sitting in the car. I was sitting in my car with a female. We were talking about money or something like that. And so I, I remember hearing the first disses that 50 Cent did against Rick Ross. And I remember thinking, well, why doesn't Rick Ross, and I, I might even said it to the female I was sit, I was chilling with. And I remember thinking, why wouldn't Rick Ross just, the reason why I'm pausing a little bit is because I'm thinking about the female I was chilling with. I'm kind of like replaying it in, in my mind. And now like, I'm really trying to remember who it was that I was chilling with at that particular time. And it, it was strictly business. Whoever it was, it was strictly business. It wasn't, and she was beautiful. It's not like she wasn't, she was fine, but it was strictly business. But anyway, I remember thinking like, why doesn't Rick Ross take what 50 Cent is using, the whole correction officer thing, and just say, oh, yeah, I was a correction officer. I was the plug on the inside. Yeah, I was a correction officer. I was the one that the, you know, the big dope boys, the big drug dealers, I was their hookup on the inside. That's all I would have said. I would have just spun it like my story would have been like, yeah, I was a correction officer. Absolutely. That's why I know so much about the game. That's why I know so much about the drug game is because I was a correction officer. And so I was on the inside seeing how everything moves. I was on the inside. I was the crooked correction officer. I was the crooked police officer that was getting paid under the table. I was getting paid under the table with the biggest dope boys in Miami. That's all Rick Ross has to say. And nobody could ever use that correction officer thing against him. If I was Rick Ross, listen, you guys, when you're talking about war and strategy, you have to take what people are going to use against you and use it first against yourself and spin it in a way where they can't use it against you. So Rick Ross, I don't know why he's never done that. Just take that idea about being a correction officer. Yes, I am a correction officer. I was. I was a correction officer. I was one of the most crooked correction officers in history. I was getting paid under the table. I was running drugs in and out of the prison. I was the plug inside the prison for the for the drug dealers out that, that were outside of the prison. I was the inside of the prison plug. This is why I know so 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 much how drugs work. This is why I know how the drug game works because I was inside of it. I was the inside man when it came to the drug dealers. I was the plug inside prison for all the big dope boys who were on the outside. That's all he has to say. I don't know why Rick Ross has never said something like that. He can just wipe that whole correction officer thing out just like that. Look at this. Look at this. Um. This right here, look at this one, this comment. This beef don't even make no sense. Yeah, I'm gonna like that one too. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. So, I don't know. Like I said, I think it reeks of desperation. I think it's a wonderful song. It's a wonderful track, you know. I think the second beat, the second beat number two is amazing. Um, but you know, I'm not surprised. The game always has lyrics. Um, but I just think it reeks of desperation. I think the game is trying to be relevant. I think it reeks of desperation to be relevant. Um, the last thing I will say is people always had this thing in hip hop where guys from the West Coast can't rap. And like, you know, New York always had the lyricists and stuff like that, which is, you know, for, for a large part, always has been true, right? Let me tell you, between Kendrick Lamar and the game, guys from the West Coast 
they know how to rap. Like, like you have some lyricists on the on the West Coast, you know. And not to even mention to go back to Dell, Dell, the funky homo sapien, who I think was like Ice Cube's brother or cousin, Dell, the funky homo sapien. Or um, who are those guys that you see that sung the song from 93 uh, till infinity? That was a smooth beat too back then. That 93 till, till infinity beat, that beat was always smooth. I always liked that song. But them, um, those guys, they were, you know, they their lyrics were always on point. Um, the far side, she keeps on passing me by. Those guys, the far side, they were lyricists. Um, but yeah, man, the West Coast, people always used to diss the West Coast like they didn't have lyricists, but shoot, look at, in these beefs that, that have been happening, you know, between the game and Kendrick Lamar, those from the West Coast have some of the best beefs, right? From the game and Kendrick Lamar, you have people from the West Coast got some of the best lyricists. So even like the Lady of Rage and stuff like that from back in the days, Corrupt. I know Corrupt. Boy, back music. I know Corrupt was. Uh, we're gonna listen to it. We're gonna listen to it one more time. I know Corrupt was originally from Philly. I think. I think Corrupt was from Philly, but yeah, you had some West Coast artists, man, know how to rhyme. But the game, Kendrick Lamar, for sure. One more time, we'll listen to it. Um, and then that's it, straight through, and then we'll end it. But like I said, you know, if I was Rick Ross, um, I would use that whole correction officer thing. And just use it in my power. I'd use that for a powerful thing, saying that I was on the inside. I was the inside man. I was the crooked correction officer. That was the big plug between all the dope boys on the outside of prison and inside of prison. Rick Ross could easily spin this correction officer thing in his favor. Um, but he has to be smart when it comes to strategy like that. And the last thing I'll say is, you know, it's a great song, but unfortunately... The game just wants to be relevant again, and it reeks of desperation for the game to be relevant. Could open his stomach and stuff bricks in it. Put his body on a scale like his fish in it. I can see the bitch in him. $20 million home renovation just to slit your wrists in it. Suicide, it's a suicide. Rip apart the mate back, I know the truth's inside. You 12 lemon pepper wings from a heart attack. Academics, get this nigga Olympic starter pack. Casa not, hit the room, turn that stream on. Ags buttons, by this brief encounter with King Kong. This ain't the Kendrick beef, my Drake sing song. Shots ring out, your neighbor better have his ring on. Glock swing out, doors open like a swing on. Pock lean out, Machiavelli with the ring on. Ops is out, they on the same shit that we on. Hospital, wheelchair, hair wrap, sling on. It's payback punk for the drunk. You tried to bring on made back chunks Type of shit that we eat our wings on My cage dot shit I don't have to turn the beam on It's that time of the month Get this pussy something to bleed on Your baby mama told me that you like to get peed on You a CEO That's the last time you had keys on And we know you treat gunplay like he a peon And he know some shit that ain't cool for him to speak on My PO said this ain't the record that we agreed on Then cut it off like the ankle monitor for the beep on My niggas will learn French just to get they steam on it with Cali codes, don't need Cali to get a scream on. We the West, free the guys. I gotta free the West. I'm muy loco, I don't need a vest. I'm watching Scarface and cleaning text. Shots gonna be direct. Have you been through Cedar yet? When cars pull up, we do explosives and heater checks. The lights flick, the dogs bark, and niggas sleeping less. Under palm trees, we got them choppers that'll eat your flesh. The real Rick Ross know every bird gotta lead a nest. You stole your name, I pulled your fat facts. You looked that big and stole the staff facts. I smell pussy, that odor fat fat. You ain't sold no birds, you trolled the owl. Dr. 
Draco flick. It's like the light on the Carter Four. Bad kid, good city. I studied the art of war. Run into that hand me down mansion and lock up all the doors. Stop with all that raving. Nigga, you not from Baltimore. I don't want to hear about no fish tanks and marble floors. No spiral steps, no swimming pools, no hors d'oeuvres, no automores, no car shows, no pinky rings, no umbrellas in the car doors. Introduce me and my connect to that Colombian you chopped that raw for. It wasn't fabricated. The lies you tell are getting saturated. What happened to the birds in the Maserati? They just evaporated? Boss. That shit be too exaggerated Fucking with a Compton nigga Get your head decapitated Leonard DiCaprio All that cap like you activated I just bought a hundred for yacht And it was captivating Congratulations What an imagination From CO to drug kingpin Now this nigga acting Haitian The stories these niggas tell He gon' tell us he got a key For every nigga he locked in a cell He gon' tell us he just bought another crib He living well But he won't tell us about his health condition He sick as hell He popping pills They starting to fuck with his brain Seizures off the Lean Balenciaga shorts got shit stains. He not a mastermind. He got he line after line, laid back in the Maybach, making up shit just to pass the time. He think he big Meech, free Larry Hoover, Miami a big beach. Now watch how I maneuver. I don't tippy toe. I know plenty zones that pull up in semi trucks, hop out and let a semi go. So let me know. I let them boys and them drop Chevys go. It's humid in the 305, but they pushing heavy snow. Compton Grand Reaper, I make you reap what the devil so Walking through live with the same eyes niggas had in belly though. This ain't the new death row, this the old Harry O. Game is one of them niggas, Blue Da Vinci, Meech and Terry No, So my advice is let it go. Oh, I almost forgot, fuck Bel Air. It's West Side, we let the Henny flow. So when that muzzle smoke, and that thing hot, even when the camera out of focus, just know the beam not. Run up on you, clean shots, look down on you, flash on like an iPhone, tape to the ceiling with the screen lock. This nigga drug women, that's how your team rock. And all that money you rap about gon' get you a mean plot. But in the meantime, I'ma let your fake fiends cop, and I know you doing your thing, Ock, but this is where the wings stop. Yeah, man. Um, and look, he has the KFC. <laughs> the game wasn't gonna give uh Rick Ross's uh wing stop any uh any free publicity. So he has KFC here instead. He has it in blue instead of red. It's, pro it's probably for copyright reasons because he probably can't use the real KFC. Anyway, um, and look, he has the Colonel Sanders instead of a white guy for KFC, it's a black guy. But um, like I said, I think this reeks of desperation. Uh, if I was Rick Ross, Rick Ross, to me, in my opinion, gains nothing out of responding. If I if I was Rick Ross, I wouldn't even respond. Like, I think that um, didn't the game diss Eminem one time and Eminem didn't even respond to him. So the game just wants to be relevant. He's desperate. And so if I was Rick Ross, I wouldn't even respond. Don't even respond. Anyway, you guys, take care. Have a great day or great night, depending on where you are in the world. Old dog, anti-imperial to chill. I love y'all, all right? Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.